Let those lines represent levels of energy, levels of vibration. Every frequency is connected to the one above and the one below. Now, you may have seen this before, but I'll guarantee you, you probably aren't executing it as well as you could. Pay close attention. Everything is energy, everything vibrates. The law of vibration decrees that everything in the universe moves. We live in an ocean of motion. There is no such thing as staying where you are. You're either going ahead or you're going back. You're moving, makes no mistake about it. Every frequency is hooked up to the one above and the one below. Do you know what that really means? We're all connected. That's right. Now look it. Let's say that's your phone. I'm gonna say, this is my phone. If we get on the same frequency, we can start communicating. Wouldn't matter where we are in the world, because I'm on your frequency. I can tap out a message to you. I can talk to you, I can send a picture to you. Why? Because we're on the same frequency. Simultaneously with me hitting send, you got the picture. You could be on the other side of the world, you could be in Kiev. I could be here. Boom, you get it. Everyone knows this and damn near everyone has at least one phone. You know why? Because we're learning something about the laws of the universe. Now keep going. We seem to have a basic understanding of this when it comes to our phones. However, when it comes to our life, we get lost. We don't, we don't, we don't take it beyond the phone level. Let's take it beyond the phone level. Let those lines represent levels of vibration. A level of vibration is referred to as a frequency. And we think on frequencies. Now this is, this is so important that you get this. Now pay attention. You think on frequencies. That's the frequency you're thinking on. That's symbolic of the frequency you're thinking on. And that will dictate the results that you're going to get. This is real. I do this. Every day I do this. I have done it for years. I did it when I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. Most people don't know what they're doing. They just do it. That's where I am. That's where I want to go. I know where I am, but that's where I want to go. You see, that's normal in life. You know where you are, but that's not, I want to go there. That's what I really want. Doesn't matter where you are. And I'm going to do that as soon as I get the money. <laughs> this is where we get screwed up. I'm going to do that as soon as the kids are out of school. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get another degree. Then I'll do that. I can't do that because of where I'm at, you understand. Well, you're waiting for the results to change and pretty soon the decision fades. And before long, the goal, it goes where the decision went. What's the problem here? Well, here's the problem. You're thinking here on this frequency. You could compare this to an AM band on your radio. You're on that frequency and you're trying to get FM music. You're screwed, you'll never get it. They cannot broadcast FM music on an AM band. It won't work. You're thinking down there and you're saying, but I want to go up here. If you want to go up there, your mind and your thoughts must be focused on the same frequency of what you want. Listen, if nothing's created or destroyed, that means everything's already here. If not in one state, certainly in another. Nothing is created or destroyed. If you want to get that, you've got to understand that you've got to think on that frequency. And if you're going to do that, you've got to make a committed decision. So you can make a decision and then you do it if it's convenient. When you make a committed decision, you're going to do it regardless. I don't care what the odds are. I don't care the fact that nobody's ever done it before. 
Doesn't matter to me that people have never stood on the top of that mountain. I'm going to the top of that sucker right now. Let's look here. All these lines represent levels of vibration. We know that every frequency is hooked up to the one above and the one below. We know that. We have studied that many, many times. All science and all theology teach us that. Now there's a real lesson in here if we will get it, okay? Now look here for a moment. There's where you are right now. That's the yellow line. That represents the level of consciousness you are on. That represents what you're hearing when I'm talking to you, okay? Now, this up here is where we've never been. That's where we really want to go. See, our heart is always causing us to want to go higher, further, okay? Faster even. What we should do is stop and remember how we got to where we are. There were lessons here. If we would pay attention, we'd see how we move from one frequency to the next. We know we're here. How did we get here? Well, let's stop and review. Do you remember you took the chances? You bet on yourself. There was no physical proof that you could do it, but you went there and you did it. So what you got to do now is go off up here and see yourself already there. It's like I tell the story in here about John and Pat. Want the house? I said, go buy the house. He said, we can't buy the house. We haven't got any money. I said, you don't need any money. I said, what do you mean we don't need? I said, you haven't made a decision to buy the house. You see, what you've got to realize what you've done is you've taken, raised your level of conscious awareness. If nothing's created or destroyed, everything's already here. If not in one state, in another. Now, where your mind is stayed here on this line, where you are, mentally you've gone up here and you get up there mentally and you're going to start attract everything from that higher frequency and of course you can go higher if you want there's no end to where we can go we are created in god's image we're capable of doing all great things this is not a fallacy this isn't a fantasy this is the real deal and what we've got to do is know that when we raise our mind onto a higher frequency it's like when you change uh, the number on the phone well, the journey from one state to another is a psychological one. So to make the journey, you must use psychological equivalent of least action and the psychological equivalent is assumption. You just assume that you're doing it. You just assume that you're there. You assume you've got everything in place. Each day, set yourself the task of deliberately withdrawing your attention from the objective world and of focusing it subjectively. In other words, concentrate on the thoughts or moods which you deliberately determine. You see yourself doing the thing you really want to do. This is the assumption you make it real in your mind.